another single cask exclusive. Get excited. Let's drink some whiskey. Welcome to Whiskey and Whiskey. I'm the Whiskey Chaser Brian here in Christie's Bar Kilkenny. Hope you're having a great week. So last time on the show, we jumped into the second ever green label release from Dunville's Irish Whiskey. And in said video, I promised I would do the first ever green label release from Dunville's uh, single cask. And you know, I'm a man of my word. Here it is. This is Dunville's single cask release, a 20 year old Oloroso Sherry finished single malt bottled exclusively for the Palace Bar Dublin. Buckle up. Now on last week's show, I had a look at the 14 year old PX Sherry release of these, which was bottled exclusively for Carry Out Killarney off license. And of course you'll find the link to that video either down below or up here. So that release was the second green label release from the Dumbles brand, which is under the umbrella, of course, of the Ecklinville Distillery. And I'm not gonna go into anything behind the distillery. I've covered it in a number of other Dumbville releases. Um, you know what, I'll leave a link down below to those couple of videos has all the history in there, check them out. So what we have here today is the first ever green label release from Dunville's Irish Whiskey. Now, you might be asking yourself, self, what the hell is a green label release? Allow me to divulge a little bit of the deets. Up until recently, the majority of single cast releases from Dunville's all had red labels and were released via distillery. Check on screen now. The green label releases are released as a partnership between Dunville's and members of the drinks industry. This one here happens to be released in partnership with the Palace Bar in Dublin, which is kind of a big deal. The Palace Bar in Dublin is quite possibly one of the most iconic whiskey bars in the country. To date, they have about eight single cask releases under their belt, everything from Redbreast to Green Spot and even their own brand releases brought out under the Palace Bar name. A little history then? Sure. Why not? The Palace Bar was built in 1823 by the Hall family, who owned it up until the early 1900s, where it was bought by the Ryan family, who were from Tipperary, and named it the Widow Ryans. In 1946, Bill Ahern purchased the pub for 27,000 pounds, which at the times was a substantial sum of money. It's still run by the Ahern family to this day, and it's Bill's grandson, Willie Ahern, that is now the main gaffer. And what a whiskey head he is. You see, back in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, the Palace Bar was renowned for writers and poets stopping in after a long day to meet up, share stories and poems, and of course, have a few drinks. The building itself is absolutely gorgeous, check on screen, a Victorian style building that has not changed its decor in over 190 years. It is a stop on the tourist trail when you come to Ireland. I will of course leave a link down below to the website should you wanna find out more and see some of the releases that they have on offer some of which are completely sold out. Now, some of the single cast releases to date have been absolutely exceptional. The Redbreast is always one of the most talked about single cast whiskies out there. The Green Spot release, I've tried a number of times and on different occasions, and it's excellent. They do have a Dingle Founding Fathers, which I haven't tried, and also some of their own branded whiskies, which again, I haven't tried, but that is on my to-do list upon my next trip to Dublin, and I'm definitely going to indulge. So their newest single cast release. A 20 year old single malt, single cask whiskey from Dunville's, bottled at 55% ABV, limited to 341 bottles, finished for one year in Oloroso sherry casks and a healthy 350 euro price point. Not cheap, but we've been down this road before. It is a growing trend we see and uh, a testament to the Irish whiskey scene currently at the minute. Quality costs a bit of ching ching. Now this release kind of crept up out of nowhere and unfortunately I didn't get to try it on the night of the Zoom call. I did miss out, but I do have it here now and I am ready to crack it open and of course fill you in. The last release I tried was a PX Sherry finish and was huge on fruits and sweetness. I'm expecting a little bit more nuttiness to this one as it's an Oloroso Sherry finish. But let's jump in. And we pour. So while I'm giving the whiskey a chance to breathe a bit, if you liked any of that information above, don't forget to like, subscribe, of course, 
share, care, follow, recommend, and of course, get involved and let's grow this channel into a beautiful thing. All suggestions on what whiskies you want me to drink are welcome. Of course, leave your comments down below. I'll do my best on what we have here and try and get to them. Once again, this 20 year old Dunville single malt release bottle exclusive here for the Palace Bar Dublin, 55% ABV, finished for a year in Oloroso Sherry. Cask number 1639, bottle 105, priced at 350 euros. Let's get it on the nose. Mm. Very fresh, nice green apple, vanilla sweetness with a nice hint of uh, spice that absolute, that would lie underneath it. Very crisp and very fresh. There's a lovely lemon citrus note in behind it with some caramel. A hint of nuttiness and dark chocolate at the end. Um, it is very vibrant. The nuttiness is kind of protruding a little bit more at the end now as it gives it a chance, as it comes through a little bit more and resting in the glass. Along with that dark chocolate note, but the spice is still there. You know, there is a kind of, um, the malty notes, obviously, you know, your apples and pears in behind that then. Quite fruity, quite vibrant. Uh, there is another fruit note there that I can't really put my finger on. But yeah, full, very complex. Um, maybe not very complex, but a medium complexity. There is a lot happening here. Let's have a little sip. Slauncha. Lovely, very mouth coating, quite complex. A lot of the nuttiness coming through, a lot with the malty notes. Now, there's a big bang of spice here again. And that is reminiscent of the 14 year old as well that we had, that we tried this last time. It's a spice bomb. But you're getting with that along, you know, the malty notes, a honey sweetness and dark chocolate to complement that. It does stand out a bit again, like the 14 year old. I don't want to compare them. I'm not going to compare them to be fair. They are different animals entirely, but the spice note is still very reminiscent, reminiscent of that. Let's try another one, Slanja. Your nuttiness coming through, apple notes. There's not as much zestiness on this as the nose would suggest. Not as, as vibrant, as fresh. Um, quite a lot more kind of nutty and refined and spicy with, you know, your dark chocolate flavors. Dark chocolate notes, I should say. Um, you know, your malty notes from the, the single malts coming through there as well. Yeah, the nuttiness is sticking out a little bit more, even on the finish, you know, medium, complex. You have your dark chocolate. As I said, the malty notes, don't wanna keep repeating myself. A um, little bit of bitterness on it. Just, just be sure to be sure. Mm, little bit of bitterness. And it is on a little bit of the peppery side of things, um, but it does, you know, it does retain that kind of vibrancy. Not as much, I did, again, I don't think as the nose, would suggest, but um, definitely with a 100% quality dram. Now, I'm not going to add water to this. Uh, I found that a, I kind of ruined it the last, uh, the last thing the cask I did, I added a little bit of water and I kind of ruined it a little bit. So I'm gonna leave it as that is. If you'd like to add water, by all means do. Let me know what you think down below. It's not a bad dram by any means. You know, really nice flavors coming through, nice complexity, overall lovely mouth feel. Um, with a kind of a short little bit of a finish. My only point of contention is the price point. Again, you know, um, as with most single casks around this age, they are that little bit on the pricey side of things. But if you, you know, have a fat wallet and that's not an issue, then I would 100% recommend picking this up, um, you know, while they're still available. I wouldn't imagine they would be around for much longer. They do tell to send sell out quite quickly. <laughs> Drinking. Again, another great offering from the lads at Ecklenville, Dunville's, and of course, you know, the Palace Bar. Looking forward to stopping in on my next visit. It has been years because of this pandemic, but the time is fast approaching where I must make a little trip. Now, as always, a shout out to the lads here in Christie's for the dram today and in general for the sport for this channel. If you are down this way for a dram, let me know. Don't be afraid to hit me up. Instagram, whatever, even a comment down below. Um, when it comes to this review, indeed all reviews that I do on this channel, all thoughts are my own and are not influenced by any outside parties. 
So that is all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of info on the Palace Bar and of course the whiskey. Don't forget to like and follow if you enjoyed that and check out some of my socials in the links below. Until next week, Chaser out. Sláinte. Thank you.